God, let me first give lamentations of the content creator. It's taken me about an hour to get this perfect angle. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to the channel. My name is Fever for those who are new here. Welcome, 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 welcome. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving well explaining what my life looks like lately, basically. And I'm also going to be giving the details, major details of where i relocated to and why i relocated if this sounds like something you'd like to know more of please keep watching i have a long history and i would recommend watching out the videos on the channel i'm also going to leave a playlist at the end if you'd like to catch up with all the long history of my life of this I did my master's studies at the university of glasgow in scotland Woohoo! and i turned in my dissertation a while ago so I'm pretty much a free bird, a master's degree holder in the field of international commercial law and I moved recently to England. Where did I move to in England? I moved recently to Bristol. Why did I move really? It's very very humbling when you have plans and God honors those plans. You know the Bible says many are the devices in the heart of a man but it's the counsel of the Lord that shall prevail. Another translation even says many are the plans in the heart of a man. A man can plan is ways a man can plan so many things but it's ultimately the counsel of the lord that prevails and i feel like personally for me i've desired certain things at certain points in times in my life and god has honored those plans and it's very humbling to see i wouldn't say it's been a smooth sail completely but even in the midst of the roller coasters there's just the assurance that you know you have the backing of god and all things ultimately work together for good so i think this video is more like a testimony of my journey in glasgow from glasgow where i did my master's degree down to where i currently am in england so when i moved into glasgow for my master's degree that was last year i started making so many applications and that is to say that the reason why i moved to england or the major reason why i had to relocate from scotland to england is because i'm starting a new role or i got a job in other words from the moment when i start stepped into um, Glasgow I started putting in so many applications but for some reasons even the few that I was able to scale through didn't just click no my applications did not pull through at all there were some as I was even taking the assessment I knew that you know I was not going to get called back because even I knew that I was doing rubbish but to the glory of God you know I had gone for this career fair I have two videos on career fairs one um, talks about me attending a career fair the second one also gives you just tips on what to do if you're at the career fair and you're lost so i'll link in those two videos i think those videos will really be helpful for you if you ever plan to go for a career fair so i'd gone for this career fair and i'd spoken with this very lovely lady very remarkably lovely lady and she was a recruiter um in fact she was a senior recruiter because she doesn't recruit graduates or new entry um entry rules she only recruits for experienced roles and you know at the career fair she was super nice to me you know i had asked her um do you have legal roles available she told me the roles they had available and so many things i didn't even know much about the company it was at the career fair which is why i see people go for career fair god will order your steps to the right place to the right people that's my prayer for you but you also need to take that step and you know take that action so i spoke with her at the career fair I, she also told me that oh look out for her i think i attended the career fair in october October last year and you know she had told me that oh look out for our job openings when they open in October and da, 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 all those sort of things as people would say so thankfully I looked out for the um, their job opening when the time was around and somehow of all the in spite of the rejections that I was getting at the time I was just progressing in that one to the glory of God like to the absolute glory of God because to be honest I won't say I did anything different it was just favor and just the mercy of god so i just kept progressing and as god would have it i made it through and by december i already had the job offer to the glory of god so that's just that's literally just the testimony of just favor divine um orchestration of how god can order your steps literally because if i didn't go for that career fair i wouldn't have known about the existence of that organization i wouldn't even have known to look out for their openings at the time that point in time and usually in uk they usually recruit in advance so you know if it's a graduate will recruit a year in advance it's usually only experienced hires that they recruit asap as soon as possible or immediately most times the start is usually 
if it's a graduate role or an entry role, you know, you have to start, they recruit a year in advance or two years in advance or three years in advance, you know. So they were recruiting for this year, which is 2023, and having a job in 20, by December, you know, that just settled a lot of things that led a lot of fear. looking out for other opportunities. I, having something already gives you like a good, a soft landing, do you understand? So even when you get other rejections, you're like, oh, at least thankfully I already have one. So it's just literally just a testimony of divine orchestration, like I said. And God has been so good. And this is why I have moved because I'm starting a new role. And to the glory of God, I got a job in Bristol. So I'm, I've now moved to the city of Bristol, west of England. Um, it's very new for me. I haven't officially started the role yet. But it's a little bit different from what I'm used to. <laughs> but it's nonetheless, it's exciting because I've always wondered what it will look like to pivot. And this is somewhat pivoting for me. It's like pivoting to the business sector. And I'm very excited about it. Like, well, business sector, tech, everything, that kind of thing is really different. I'm thankful to God. I'm super thankful to God. And I'm here to, you know, just encourage you. If I know this is a start, this is a very major starts for for me some some few some of you are watching my channel you've gone very fine life this is not for you if you don't feel encouraged but you know this is just to encourage somebody if you consistently watch my channel you know especially if you are new to the city of uk or you are new to anywhere in the world um you're, you're away from your own country and you're maybe pursuing a master's degree or you're pursuing a postgraduate program or you're even just pursuing a first degree whatever it is that you're pursuing you know just keep pushing um always be ready to take on opportunities that come your way i feel like that's one thing that i've always you know preached on this channel that you should always embrace opportunities because opportunities will come your way honestly honestly opportunities would always come your way while i was in university i took on so many opportunities when it was time to speak at open day i embraced it when it was content creation rule i applied for it campus store guide i applied for it anything that is applied you see always especially if you're studying or you're running a program in another country where you're paying lots of money see any opportunity that comes your way just grab it especially if it's full opportunity because ultimately you've paid so much money you can't afford to just miss out on the opportunities that present themselves to you because you feel some type of way so as much as maybe even if you're working to pay your school fees and there's a career fair organized or hosted by your school or there's any events especially employability events organized or hosted by your school please go attend make contacts watch that video if you don't know how to make contact that video is really going to help you how to network at formal events it would really help you and put you through so many things make contacts speak to people ask questions in this life is information you could not get the right information and think you only always have to settle for something that is you know not what you desire but that's the only thing that is available but if you have the right kind of information you'd also know that there are lots of other things a lot of other options that are available i don't know if this makes sense so yes that's literally the summary of why i moved um and how god has just been faithful and god has really done me well and yes that's just the testimony of my life and i pray for you as well if you're still you know trusting god for settlements in one way or the other whether you're in a foreign country or you're in your own home country i declare that you know god would in his mercy also come through for you in a great in a great way even in a more miraculous way than mine and i also pray for you as well that god is constantly going to go ahead of you it will set a table before you it will plant your feet in places where you never thought you could get to it will be called in places that matter you will be sent for by people that matter in the name of jesus my prayer for you as well is that divinely in the most miraculous way yet simple way god will order your steps and you will be at the right place at the right time and all your desires according to his perfect will it will ultimately grant so i'm just going to conclude the video now um if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel i no longer film about my experience in glasgow because i have not moved so i'm going to be filming about my experience in bristol thank you for all the comments and the encouragement from the previous videos that has spurred me on to continue and i intend to feel more of my my experience on you know just what this new face is about and just exploring the city of bristol i also intend to film some of the things that i've noticed are a little bit different from you know scotland and in bristol here yeah, where i now reside um yes that's it thank you so much once again for watching please subscribe to the channel if you haven't share with your loved ones give me a nice comment um like the video please like the video people don't like the video as often like the video um 
that's it guys i will see you in the next one i will sign up with some other clips from you know my move to from glasgow to bristol bye for now oh, bye guys. guys this was what i knew was all oh, for the past one year seriously so well this was my view um empty 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 empty, empty, empty. this is my box the second box i still had this bag extra bag laptop bag um empty they gave us that bed cover empty everywhere is empty 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 my voice is echoing itself oh this was a good run cleared out my wardrobe <laughs> this was a really good run guys it was such a good run um I remember this eater when I first came. I actually, asked them to give me an extra eater, an additional eater. Signing out of student roost. Back in the days, I would have walked to the bus station with my load, but realizing this life, you're not going to take money to heaven, so you may as well just buy that comfort. This for my Uber. Right there on top of the moon, we could sit and do nothing. I wish it would go to just fly away. I don't wanna care. It's being I'm good alone. I'll be okay with you like an old friend. Too scared now, thinking I should call her. Thank you.